pocket. It's a new younger generation. We want everything to be free. We need new rules. On this small volcanic island where there are so few people, you need an iPhone app to make sure you're not dating your cousin, something interesting is happening. These descendants of the Vikings are fighting the man and they might actually be winning. In 2008, Iceland and its capital city Reykjavik suffered one of the most devastating financial crises in history. Think Detroit with breathtaking scenery. But here, that economic collapse gave birth to a new generation of activists. They want to hack the system. That means life, liberty, and saying fuck you to the establishment. But it all started out as one big joke. We based our campaign and, and we based our whole philosophy on nonsense. It's called the best party and the logo is like thumb up with a bit, bit too long thumb to make it look stupid. It's just nonsense. Uh, and uh, what was the question again? <laughs> this former punk rocker and comedian ran for mayor. He promised free towels at all public pools, he promised a polar bear at the zoo, and he promised to break all of his promises. Here's the punchline. She, I mean he, won. When we realized that we were probably going to get elected, we decided that we would try to do this in a responsible way. So it's an oxymoron kind of Anarcho-surrealism creates stability. Nar is now one of the most popular politicians in Iceland. And he's just one actor in a much broader movement. The Icelandic parliament, the Althingi, has been around for over a thousand years. Earlier this year, the people of Iceland made history by electing three members of the Pirate Party. Their goal? Bring democracy kicking and screaming into the internet age. We need geeks inside parliaments around the world because the laws that are being written today have no reflection of the reality we live in today. The notion of what we like to call political hacking. It's, it's basically that there is something broken and we want to fix it. Technology has changed everything, but politics aren't really, they haven't caught up. There was this need for a party that actually understood that things need to change along with technology because the culture is changing because of it. We are an offshoot of the internet fundamentally, but also with that comes a need for democratic reform. And so our, our take on the whole matter is, is, is a bit more serious, even though we are kind of punk-like and we don't mind being very informal. <laughs> well, I see us as the, uh, uh, the first mammals in the world of the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs don't realize that their time is over, so they think they got the upper hand, but they're wrong and they will be wiped out and uh, the mammals are going to take over. <laughs> <laughs>